Okay, we're, we're live. Um, so I've asked a question about how do you know if you're coming from a higher place or from ego. Uh, I'd say generally uh, a few things. One of the things is there's certain characteristics of certain levels of consciousness. So the lower levels of consciousness are, th are emotions like dominant emotions. Um, well, there's a few things. When one is really an ego, one feels very uh, self-centered. What, what do I mean? I can say that exactly. Usually it means you're feeling very identified with the body and, and have quite strong feelings. Like you might have a cloud of feeling like low self-esteem or self-hatred or hatred or anger or shame. So those are quite low vibrations. So if you're offering something from that kind of self-centered vibration, it's going to be reasonably ego-dominant. It's going to be orchestrated by that level. As you go into higher levels of consciousness, you're going into you know, high levels than fear, or like anger, or pride. Those are still higher vibrations of ego. As you go into the more spiritual uh, dimensions, you're having uh, sort of uh, peace or happiness. As you get into the higher states, then you're in those flow states or the witnesser, witness observer states. When you're, um, when you're actually uh, communicating with someone, um, you, you just need to know from what vibration you're at or how self-centered or identified with your ego. If, um, generally speaking, states can fluctuate throughout days and weeks. Um, if, and sometimes there can be like a temporary fluctuation of anger or something uh, that can flare up. But generally speaking, um, uh, to know, you want to check what's your general vibration uh, and that's probably roughly where it's going to be coming from. So if you're feeling in a reasonably good high spiritual state, often the answers w will come. Now of course, you know, you can be in a high spiritual state and you can be triggered. You know, someone can say something and you can go into, you know, extreme anger or something and respond. Um, and that there will be a tinge of that anger coming in. As you get into the, the higher states, you know, you're, the, the higher spiritual states are the flow states, or the witness-observer witness states. So in those states, they're coming out of the universe. There is no, you're not feeling like you're a separate entity responding to, <clears throat> to an argument. So you could say, whatever comes out of that state is coming out of, out of, the, out of grace, out of the universe in however it comes out, because there wasn't a you there trying to make the response to another person. So when you're in the low vibrations, it seems there's a you responding to a separate person. When you're in the higher states, there's no you. So everything is, you know, you're in the observer, or uh, you're in those flow states, and responses happen, but there's not a you that's making the responses. So those would be uh, the higher states. But it's just going to be a, a correlation of how connected you are. I would say that if you're in a low vibration and you want to come from a high vibration, then you do some spiritual activity before that conversation just to tune you up. So if I felt like I was in the ego or something, I could go into the observer state or I could feel my feelings out before speaking. And then, it, it, uh, then I'll be boosting up my, uh, my spiritual connection and then communicate from there if I felt that the uh, connection was low. Does that answer the question?